Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Demystifying Ditta to PDF Publishing webcast. My name is Sarah O'Keefe. I will be co-presenting with Simon Bates, who is also on the line, and I'm going to go ahead and get started. I wanted to get a couple of housekeeping things out of the way to start with. Uh, we will be taking your questions through the questions area in the GoToWebinar uh, control panel. So if you take a look there, you should have a questions area. You can type your question in there, and we will provide responses either there or possibly via the audio. We are also going to open up the webcast at the end for a question and answer period. We may be able to open up the audio at that point to let you answer, ask questions via audio. That is a little bit challenging, and we can have some problems there. So count on the, the written questions working and possibly the audio. We will also give you our contact information so that if you need to, you can follow up with us after the fact. You are muted on the webcast. Uh, the only people that you will be hearing from most likely are myself and Simon. And again, if we are able to open up the audio at the very end, you may be able to ask some questions there. The webcast is being recorded. However, the information that is in the control panel, in the questions, and then the chat tab does not appear in the recording. And also, we will stop the recording and cut it off before the Q&A session. So any questions you ask at the very end will not appear in the recording. We do have some question and answer sessions interwoven right after the demos that we're going to be doing. Those will be recorded. OK, so there we are. Um, and I'd like to point out that we're dressed exactly like that today, or possibly not. But there's Simon. But there we are. So we are up and running, and we are getting ready to get started. Now, the very first thing I actually wanted to do was uh, do a quick poll and ask you about your current DITA status. So for those of you that are on the line, uh, if you would just take a moment and uh, click the appropriate item here and go ahead and submit it. We're going to aggregate these. So we're not going to call you out by name or anything like that, but just click whatever it is that you've got here, and we'll take a look at what kind of results we get. I'm not expecting a lot of responses on item one, which would be everything's great, because in that case, I find it sort of unlikely that you would actually turn up in this webcast. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and close this. and share the results. And we can take a look here. So uh, the answer is that 14% <laughs> of you can't get any PDF output, and you are apparently the farthest along, because everybody else is either working on implementation or thinking about implementation. So the vast majority of you are just thinking about it or just getting started. And then you've got the few that are out in front on the leading edge who can't get the PDF stuff to work. If it makes you feel any better, um, it takes a, it's taken me really quite a long time to get this very basic demo that I'm going to be doing here to work. And I had to ask for help from two people in this office. So that was um, sort of sad. All right, I wanted to move on and actually do a second poll here. And that has to do with the stages of data-based PDF publishing. Uh, I've done some work on this and have looked at the various stages that people go through. And here are the stages. Uh, they have some things in common with uh, a different kind of experience that is known for having stages. So go ahead and click on the one that uh, perhaps best matches where you are with this. But what we're finding is that people sort of go through, well, it can't possibly be that hard, followed by, I can't believe how hard this is, followed by uh, bargaining. Maybe if I tried this with a different set of tools. Maybe I, if I tried this with some different people. I can't believe I'm shipping this PDF. And you know, at least I got it out the door. So those are kind of the stages that we've identified. If you have others, feel free to drop them into the chat if you feel like what we're providing here is not actually an accurate representation. And I'll give you another couple of seconds to vote here. And we'll take a look at the results for that then. All righty. So here we are. How hard could it be? Oh, what's in the lead is why is this so bleeping hard? Yeah. 
it, it is just really, really difficult to get good PDF out of DITA content. And what I want to do today is talk about the different ways that you can do that and what some of your different options are and why it is that it's difficult. Because it is, in fact, you know, really significantly difficult to get decent PDF out. So let's take a look here. Um, we'll walk through the polls. We talked about that. Why is PDF publishing hard? First of all, PDF publishing is hard because if you compare it to the process of extracting HTML from DITA or any other kind of XML content, printed page layouts are much more complex than HTML layouts. You have things like margins and multiple columns and tables that span and pagination, all these things that you don't really have to address in an HTML layout. The extensible style sheet language formatting objects, or XSLFO, is what you need in order to generate um, PDF from XML, in, or it's one of your options. And FO is really, really, really complex, much more so than generic XSL, which is what you would use to generate HTML from your XML output. So FO is very, very difficult. Your other alternative, which would be to take your XML and push it into some sort of a page layout tool, well, that's also challenging. So you're faced with this issue that your various paths to PDF publishing are all difficult. And then finally, the last item here, and this is perhaps the most challenging one from a personal point of view, when you move to an automated workflow, which is the promise of XML, this idea that you can get PDF on the fly or you can generate your output overnight in a build, well, that means automation. And when you do automation, that means giving up page by page formatting. So the result of that is that you end up with a really kind of difficult scenario where your formatting isn't as good as it was. It is automated, perhaps, but it's not as good as it was. And you're having to deal with some tools that are really significantly challenging. So what are your choices here? You've basically got these three main categories of choices and then some options within that. So as you probably know, DITA and the DITA Open Toolkit have PDF output embedded in them. There is a, a way of getting PDF output out of the DITA Open Toolkit. It's not very good, and it's not very attractive, but it is a starting point, and it does at least give you a functional PDF. That's option A. Option B would be to take a page-based layout tool, such as FrameMaker, InDesign, or Quark, and generate your DITA content out of or through that tool. FrameMaker does actually have DITA support. The other two, InDesign and Quark, you have to do some really significant finagling and configuration to get your output run through that page-based layout tool. And then the third option you have would be to go through a help authoring or a conversion tool, such as RoboHelp, ePublisher Pro, or Flare. Now, Flair and RoboHelp, uh, well, actually, all three of these nominally have DITA support, but they are essentially a one-way street. You can't really author DITA support there. And that's really 